instead of doing all these steps like this to factorize this expression, what we can do, we can simply write this thing as x minus, minus into minus x plus. Factorize 24 in such a way whose difference is 5. So what are the factors? It's 8 and 3. So my answer is x minus 8, x plus 3. Hey everyone, this is Divyang Khandelwar from Division Math Academy. This is a very special video where I'm gonna teach you my technique to solve any quadratic expression whose coefficient is x square as 1. Remember, after watching this video, you will be able to solve any quadratic expression within 10 seconds. So let's say we want to factorize a number called 30. Now, it could be factorized as 1 into 30 or 2 into 15 or 3 into 10 or 5 into 6 and again then 6 into 5 and so on so it's one and the same thing now if i say i want to factorize 30 in such a way whose let's say addition is 31 so what would be the factors 1 and 30 let's say whose uh, difference is uh, 13 so it's going to be 15 and 2 doesn't matter 2 or 15 or 15 or 2 doesn't matter we'll see that later uh, let's say whose uh, difference is 1 so it's going to be 6 and 5 Okay, let's say whose addition is 13, whose addition is 13. So it's going to be what? It's going to be 10 and 3 and so on. So these are the pairs we need to find. Let's start with the technique. Now, see, I have taken these two expressions, which are x square plus 3x minus 18 and x square minus 11x plus 28. Now, how we'll factorize this thing? So see, first of all, we know that it's going to be always x something and x something, right? It, just like this, we got it x minus 8x plus 3. So it's always going to be like that. Now, here also it's going to be the same thing, but now see here, whatever the sign is here, this plus, you will just make it here, the plus, then you will multiply plus with minus, so plus into minus is minus. Similarly, now in this problem, in the second one, what we will do here, it's x, whatever the sign is, minus, and then minus into plus will give me x minus. So now your steps are simple, so you just have to factorize 18 in such a way whose difference, see this minus will determine the difference, whose difference is 3, whose difference is 3. So what are the factors of 18 whose difference is 3? It's going to be 6 and 3. So we'll write the larger number first, smaller number second. Now this is also very important that you have to write the larger number first and smaller number second. Similarly here, here it's 28. Now. We need to factorize 28 in such a way. Now here, see here it's plus. So that's why addition whose addition is 11. Okay. Whose addition is going to be 11. So what are the factors of 28 whose addition is 11? It's 7 and 4. So it's going to be 7 and 4. That's how you can factorize anything you want. So let's take another example. So here are many problems. So let's do it as quickly as possible. So it's, uh, let's say I'll consider uh, x square minus 13x plus 22. Now again, what you will do, you will simply write, uh, simply write x minus minus into my uh, plus x minus, right? Minus minus into plus x minus. Now factorize 22 in such a way whose addition is 13. So what are the factors? It's going to be 11 and 2, simply. Again, x square plus 18x plus 56. Now, here it's x square plus 18x plus 56. It's going to be x plus whatever this sign is plus. Plus into plus again plus. So x plus. Factorize 56 in such a way whose addition is 18. Whose addition is 18. So what are the factors? Uh, it's going to be 14 and 4. Yeah, it's going to be 14 and 4. So 14 and 4 as it is. Uh, let me consider another one. Let's say uh -huh. x square minus 21x plus 110. So this time it's going to be what? It's going to be x minus this minus sign as it is. So x minus minus into plus x minus. Now factorize 110 in such a way whose addition is 21. So it's going to be what? It's going to be 11 and 10. So write the larger number first, smaller number second. So this technique can be used anywhere. Now, let me consider one more. Uh, okay, x square minus 2x minus 63. x square minus 2x minus 63. 
So it's going to be what? It's going to be x minus minus into minus x plus factorize 63 in such a way whose difference is 2. So what are the factors? Uh, 7 and 9. So 9 and 7. So write the larger number first, smaller number second. And that's how you can factorize any quadratic expression whose coefficient is 1. Like x squares coefficient is 1. So let me know how did you find this technique in comment section below. As this channel is new, I really want your support. So please share it with as many people as you can as this will motivate me to make such more videos. Thank you in advance.